Hey guys, it's me, TDF. And it's me, Swede. And welcome to the Neon Genesis and Evangelion 64 video game, which I'm sure you didn't know existed, but here it is. It was released in Japan only because stuff. Well, not like it really makes much of a difference. This game was pretty bleh, regardless. I don't think American audiences are really missing anything. You see, it's because Evangelion is such a deep and interesting series that... Uh, something. We, we just absolutely needed a game to delve deeper into the heavy characterization of Shinji, as expressed in this video game where he screams a lot. Seriously, like, like all, all the dialogue in this game is just ripped from the TV show, and it's, most of it is just Shimmy going, and then every other character yelling as well. I'm just gonna tell you, I haven't really played this game. I've only played it once, and it was a very quick playthrough. You see, I don't, it was in the early days of Project 64. And look at those sprites. I love how they just cut into each other. And it looks like that oh, yeah. Adam is just spreading his hot sauce all over the world, ready for a delicious meal time. And this uh, MS Paint uh, title <laughs> screen will greatly <laughs> suit the rest of the game. Well, I like how the st <laughs> The only thing that the title screen was missing was Comic Sans. <laughs> oh, nice. I do love the Yeah, theme. we also get MID or I remixes of all the themes from NGE. I do love the main theme of Neo Genesis Evangelion. Yeah, it is It is definitely one of the more memorable parts of the show. That intro that everyone fawns over. Now, this game basically decided that since it can't be bothered to animate, recreate most of the cutscenes from the game, it just, like, pretty much took all the art from the anime and slapped some 3D models on top of it. Huh. I'm gonna be honest, this 3D model, it doesn't look all that bad for N64. Yeah, the Angels and the Evas actually do look pretty good, I'll be honest. Um, yeah. though they, they did put effort into those parts, but everything else is pretty lazy. Anyway, welcome to Nerve Headquarters, where nothing aside from clicking noises is accomplished. Nerve. What the fuck is this shit? Hello, did you get my good side? No, it's long. No oh, it actually reminds me of a medic ha ma mask for TF2. You know that one? Oh, right, right. I know the one you're talking about. Well, anyway, the basic gameplay of this game is that it switches in between uh, a couple of different variations. The main one is the 2D combat, which is you will see soon. It's very slow and unresponsive, but you'll see it when we get to see it. Yeah, I guess. Uh, like, see, the thing with this game is that it's more interested in just recreating scenes from the anime in 3D than it is actually being a game. Like, this game, it's really easy to just spam the throw attack and just kill the angels in, like, two hits, but in, like, the only thing that interesting happens is when you actually let the angels... You actually have to be shitty at the game, just like Shinji was in battle, in order to see more cutscenes from the game. <laughs> it's ridiculous. I'm sorry, I'm... Maybe maybe you said something interesting, but Gendo's eyes, man. Oh they're, god, they're it's so hypnotizing. You just stare yeah. at those glasses all day. But I have to say that Ava that looks really fucking good for the N64. Yeah, yeah. Like I said, the the Evas and the Angels do look really good, but that's basically where all the budget went into. Much like the show. <laughs> oh yeah. So many parallels that can be made. Uh, but yeah, just to explain the incredibly that your wimpy ass punch that you would never want to use, by the way. Uh, to explain the mechanics of the game, you both have HP bars located in the top oh of the screen. Oh god, my ears. Yes, Shinji screaming is pretty much the extent of his characterization, much like in the show and in the game. Uh, your attacks are strong, uh, the strength of your attacks and their effectiveness is based upon the sync ratio shown at the bottom left corner of the screen. And that's basically it. Okay. Now, you might not look at it, but the Evas are incredibly heavy and slow and just really unresponsive when it comes to controlling. Like, I was just mashing the button, well, hoping it goes slightly faster, but it just feels so sticky. Well, I'm gonna defend the game. Okay, I'm just gonna say, this is the only part I've ever played and I just mashed button and then I said, oh, fuck this shit. Anyway, but it just seems like it, like, sets, like, uh, I don't wanna be faggy or something, but... It really makes you... Does it... 
I would guess this makes you feel like you were actually Shinji in this moment, you know, have no fucking clue how to control this. It's really sluggish, you know. Yeah, I guess I can see what you mean. Yeah, it does make you feel it, kind of helpless. At least this battle reminds me of the first, you know, episode when he got his ass handed to him. <laughs> that remind, yeah, that, that's basically what you have to do. Actually, I remember the first time I was recording this, I actually tried to get my ass kicked on purpose because I thought, like, the first time I played this, uh, it actually accidentally, uh, well, I got my ass handed to me and it actually activated Eva's Berserker mode, like what happened in the TV show, and I tried recreating that for the recording, but nothing happened. I think Berserker mode just happens at random, so I decided against showing that off, mm. unfortunately. I do see what the you Eva mean with the game trying to be more like just being the anime in game form. Yeah, it really hurts it. Oh yeah, as you can see here, when your sync ratio is below 40, you can't grab or really do anything useful, so you just need to keep going back and forth and back and forth, slowly racking your sync back up. Like that. Who the fuck needs Street Fighter? This is the fighting game of the ages. Exactly. I mean, look at this. I'm just like, I'm just like shoving <laughs> away uh, Sashia like a little girl. Oh, get away from me. Well, it's something I... That's actually a fighting style I would imagine Shinji to have. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine just like sort of flailing his arms. <laughs> God damn, the, his face scares me down. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna fucking eat you, sweet. Actually, the hug kind of reminds me of Doom. <laughs> <laughs> I, I see what you mean. Actually, now I can, I can, I really want like a Doom hack that has Shinji in it Do -do 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 -do. <laughs> Screaming every single time he fires a bullet. <laughs> God damn it. So, amazing soundtrack, Shinji screaming. Yeah, I know, right? I I, I want like a so, like an a cappella remix of the entire Evangelion uh, OST, but with just Shinji's shrieks. God damn, this is dragging up. Yeah, like I see what, see what I mean. It, it's luckily like I think this is this guy has like abnormally high defenses. Then the, all the other bosses that have this two D mode like die in like four throws. But like I said, I think that the reason why this guy has so much HP is because they want you to get killed by him so that they can show off how they amazingly recreated cutscenes from the anime. Well, I'm just gonna say about that. If you wanted to see the scenes from the anime, go watch the fucking anime. It's, <laughs> prob it's probably better than this shit. It's not pro it is definitely better than this. Well, I can't say it's better because I haven't played this. Uh. That would be kind oh, yeah, of like a critical thing of me. It's actually possible to break the um, alien uh, to break the angels e uh, AT field, but you like don't even need to because you can just you know spam the throw attack. There's no point in trying to break it. Uh, okay. And as I mentioned, it's it's ridiculously hard to break it because like you have to use your AT field when he uses his, and it's so random. It's like not even worth it. What the fuck? <laughs> Gravity, I do remember someone's arm being broken. I didn't. Okay. Are you sure they didn't just switch? Yeah, at this point, like I said, in the anime, this like uh, Shinji goes into berserker mode, I believe, and just you know freaking tears. Well, like, apart, it's not but... really him that goes into berserker mode; it's the mech. For Henry. right, right, right. Should we just speak, talk about spoilers for, from the show? Uh, I mm, sure. Go ahead. Yeah, you do know the reason why the mech goes in berserker mode, right? Right. Yeah. So I guess. I guess. Uh, yeah. Yeah, the, the, again, the reason is because, I'm just gonna say this, Mommy got mad! And then we're, see, this is what we get for winning, we get, a, we get freaking, a, yes. A shitty people. 3D model spinning. Unfortunately, they don't have a remix of Fly Me to the Moon, which disappointed me, we only get the theme from End of Evangelion. Damn it. Oh, anyway, That's what's... now we get Flying Dick Monster. Oh, this good. Uh, or also known as uh, Sham Shell. I honestly never bothered to rem remember their names because I don't know. Bye, but I'm just on the I'm just on the Wikipedia right now. Just I, I like how all the skyscrapers go underground, but like all the other poorer houses are left up to dry because fuck poor people. What do you see? It's a social commentary about the social state, and wow, I totally don't see the top of those sprites. <laughs> honestly, I think that's just the emulator, though. Like I. I'm pretty sure, anyway. Project 64 had some issue with the sprites in this game. So basically, that this is a, this is the whole game. It's basically the fights from Neo Genesis and Galia without the drama and intrigue between them. 
basically, I mean, granted, not all of the fights are the same. Like I said, only some of the uh, angels have this 2D fighting thing. But the uh, but everything that isn't 2D fighting is really piss easy, uh, quick time event mini games, basically. So this is the hardest the game's gonna get, really. And Sham Shell is ridiculously easy compared to the last one. Okay. I'm just like I'm walking into him because I'm actually waiting for him to grab me on purpose. I, I'm waiting for him to do one specific attack. There we go. <laughs> but yeah, that, that's basically what I mean. See that scene, like right yeah. there. That's basically what the game is just built around, just recreating scenes like this. No. Oh. Well, I'm just gonna say. This dude is somewhat less terrifying in this game because his legs. <laughs> Look at him. Ooh. I'm gonna be honest. In the movie, in the like new movies, his go do goddamn small spider insect legs scares me. Uh, speaking of, actually, a lot of angels are missing from this game, like from the main plot anyway. But there, you can actually go into a practice mode where you can fight all the missing angels, which I thought was but pretty neat. Why the fuck did they remove them from the quote-unquote story mode then? I don't know. I don't know. Sweet. Oh no, that's not <laughs> anime accurate. He didn't stab it there. Basically, just see, you just protect the attack. You go forward, dodge his tentacle, then go, f uh, then. Uh, just stab him again and again. This is riveting gameplay. I know, right? Fuck you, Shinji. <laughs> You're just letting Shinji get hurt at it, this point, like aren't you? Tiny ass dagger. Then again, he. Ooh, I'm gonna turn you into calamari. <laughs> <laughs> then again, he fucking Shinji fucking deserves it. <laughs> It's just a little expect to see him. Expect him to see him doing that same same animation like three more times. It's like grab, throw him three more times. <laughs> oh man, <laughs> this isn't repetitive at all. But like, seriously, there's just absolutely no reason at all to even use anything else. No reason to use your punch, no reason to use your guard, uh, no reason to use your punch, no reason to use your guard, or anything. Just because they've all got better replacements, this game completely screws up like when it comes to game development. Uh, it's not like we, it's like we haven't even seen this before. Basically. Well, I hope you were happy with that because it's the last 2D boss. Uh, it's the last 2D angel fight we're gonna see for quite a while. Boy, I'm so gonna miss this sluggish fucking fighting game thing. Yeah, I know, right? Uh, this game is really bad, isn't it? <laughs> it's just—it's not even really that bad. It's just boring, if anything. 